Alrighty, hello everyone and welcome to Left to Learn, November 8th, 2014. Tonight's map here is going to be another custom map, and it's going to be called Arena of the Dead 2. And with me tonight here, we have Music of Zephyr coming in to co-cast with me again tonight. Hello there, Music of Zephyr. Hello, everybody, Left 4 Dead Nation. And as you, can, uh, you, know, you guys can see from <laughs> Music's last cast, he seems to have fixed his microphone, right? Yeah, well, it wasn't the mic, it was actually the mumbled technical difficulties, but everything's fixed now, so. Oh, well, there you go. So, you know, if you got a really, really terrible sounding microphone that everyone's saying that, you know, your microphone sounds like shit, well, maybe you should mess around with mumble and you might have some pretty good settings going on there. Living proof right here. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, so. Uh, let's quickly go over to the game here, so I'm going to go ahead and switch the screens here. So, yeah, this is Arena of the Dead 2 here, and the mentors tonight here are going to be consisting of... Oh god, who, who they... Oh, okay. Alright, uh, so they're going to be consisting of Flo and Prodigy Sim here. So Prodigy Sim, you know, those of you who know who Prodigy Sim is, he's a pretty big idol in the Left 4 Dead Nation community, so some people are probably going to be really excited with Prodigy Sim mentoring tonight here. And we actually do have Flo as another mentor. Flo is currently playing with a team that's actually ranked Reloading. number one seed in the uh, custom campaign tournament happening right now. So I'm pretty sure both these mentors are going to be able to mentor both teams on you know the right path. Oh yes, I can definitely agree. So yeah, Flo's team, Revelation. I believe they are six and zero. Oh. I think they might. Are they seven and zero oh now? I'm not exactly sure if they played their game or not yet, but yeah, they look like they're on the road to 7-0. Yeah, I think I remember seeing on the last Left 4 Dead Nation post, right before I left the website to come over to the stream, I think I saw them put down another stream or something, a link to a stream, and said Revelation beat Bedtime or something like that. So uh, yeah, Flo's team, 7-0 in the tournament here, so, you know, really high up there. Are they actually, like... Like, how, how's the playoffs going to go for them? Are they, like, what, what about are they going to be doing in, in the playoffs? Are they already in the finals, or what is it? Oh, they're, yeah, they're, they're making it to the playoffs here. I think the round six here, these are the last rounds. So if you didn't make the playoffs after, you know, this match, I think you're screwed. I could be wrong. Oh, uh, bad. Anyways, let's go ahead and run down here. So, we actually got quite a few new people and some familiar faces here in Left to Learn tonight. So, I'm going to go ahead and run down the survivor side here. The survivor side here will be mentored by Flo here, consisting of Brightness, Yamo, Synax, and Fish Sandwich. And starting off on the infected side, we do have Icarus, Sky Queen, Bitter, Luke Swear, and Difficult Pronunciation. And they will be mentored by Prodigy Sim here. It looks like we are getting close to go here. So, 31% tank and a 67% red share. I'm pretty excited for the map. Yes, I'm actually excited for this entire campaign after doing a short run through of it. So, but with the first attack, we do have a bitter, oh, a bitter, <laughs> a boomer hunter, uh, charger, and a spitter. So, let's see exactly see what we're going to do with this hit. And we're going to be seeing the boomer's going to be coming from inside this truck. You actually know he's on the outside of the truck, but he's going to be coming in from behind it. Three of the SI are opting to attack right from here. the top. Your hunter just running circles with the spitter. Okay, he's perched there, there waiting for them. It, so oh, with the first attack, we do have yeah, not exactly sure what the survivors are doing right now. I don't exactly know if they're waiting for something or what, but I don't think these infected are actually going to go until until the survivors do anything. Oh, Alright, so there was a lot of baiting going on there, but I don't think they realized that they didn't leave the safe room yet, but here we go. They have finally left the safe room here, and Coach is just taking, he's taking it very, very slowly. He's going back and forth here. He's looking for common infected, possibly, and they need to watch out for the spawns here. Here comes the boomers. Boomers spawned up. He's going around there. He does get a great pop in there. Here comes the jockey. Misses, but doesn't land on Coach. Here comes the DP, but it does not land, and Spitter got picked before she could spit. Yeah, really, really unfortunate right there. The, you know, boomer pop did happen before anything, uh, before anything happens. Uh, wow, I think I need you to sp next bar, and we do have a tank up right now, so. All right, so we have a tank in the hands of Icarus Sky Queen here. So let's quickly send this over to a survivor war room here, since it looks like they are the underdogs here for this tank fight. 
Don't stop now! Don't be very- don't- do not be aggressive on tank, like, don't push him when he's doing that, because it hits her up. Yep. Yeah, be careful, ammo. Re Alright, everybody should LOS hard behind his house. Like, the house he's throwing rocks from, go to the corner of it and just hide. If you hide, he'll lose rage and he'll lose tank. Oh, he tried, uh, to, he curve. tried to curve. Yeah, yeah, he looks like he might be able to, so be careful. Hits That's her up, so oh, you okay, gotta... Be aware that the hits are up, so... No, that SI is very much Also, keep looking at the tank, don't... You gotta know where he is. Oh, come on. Just shoot me. Try to skip the rocks also if you can. Alright. If Reloading. Reloading. Nice, so you don't your teammates don't get hit. Reload. Reloading. You could uh rotate to the other side of the house and LOS underneath him. Reloading. Where Nick is, exactly where Nick is where you wanna go. Might, might. He's dropping. Coach, you want to be with right. your teammates underneath? If he drops, you're better, better off than him playing a long tank. He committed. Smoke truck out there. Right by that truck. Oh, yeah. Oh. They can spawn on the roofs above you guys, so watch the roofs. Oh, I bet. He needs to get out the safe room also. If you don't get out the safe room, he's not gonna lose rage. Just reload ammo. I need some help. I need some help. Somebody want to lend me a hand here? Reloading. Uh, try to shoot the rocks if you can, Ellis, before it hits your shell. Got Not dead yet. Need some help. God damn it. Just try to run side to side when he throws rocks and then sidestep the rock to like avoid it. Don't, don't go back into the side. That's me. Not too. You guys are gonna have to uh, probably start pushing forward. Yeah, I'm gonna be uh, black and white. Reload. I'm jockeyed in the building. Yeah, I'm smoked. Oh, 
Alright, and we are back here. So we just saw a tank in the hands of Icarus Sky Queen here getting a magnificent wipe there. I mean, throwing all those rocks there and landing quite a bit of them. The survivors weren't really paying attention to those rocks. Yeah, I was gonna say, some of those rocks shouldn't have hit. Other ones that actually did miss should have hit. Um, they d the survivors did have a really, really good idea actually, um, you know, trying to line a sight underneath the, I guess you can say, this little balcony at the apartment complex, uh, right there where they almost had a tri-cap land on them. But, yeah, I mean, like, I feel like with this tank, you actually do need to, you know, LOS it, but also be aware of all of the spawns that are just about everywhere, so. Yeah, and so one thing about this map is that, unlike the traditional Left 4 Dead 2 vanilla maps here, you really ha don't have spawns everywhere. Like, I mean, I'm sure Music was after you came across, like, playing maps like Parish, where pretty much all, most of the rooftops or anything that you can get on top of is basically blocked off by an invisible wall, right? Yeah, very, very true. So here, that just takes that whole concept, throws it out the window and says, here, here's a fucking spawn everywhere. Now you gotta deal with all those potential spawns. So normally a lot of players would like to do is they'll pick a particular spot where they feel incredibly safe and they'll just keep an eye on the one or maybe two, maybe even three potential spawns that could possibly happen. But here you really can't do that because SI can come at you from every angle. And I mean, just throughout the fight, the survivors were not treating the tank rocks with importance. A lot of people make the mistake of focusing the SI completely when, you know, the SI are coming in and a rock is being thrown. They're like, you know, shut down the SI. But if the tank gets a rock, then that SI intact Reload. was a success. It doesn't matter if it's a hit, if it's a god frame rock. It doesn't matter if the only thing that landed was the rock. If the tank lands that rock, the attack was a success. Yeah, that's very true. And, and again, just like you were saying, it's, you know, the infect that can spawn just about anywhere on top of the rooftops and you have all these, you know, roadblocks, I guess you can say, with all these vehicles, so it'll be, you know, interesting to see what these survivors do with, you know, this tank. And we are going into the second round here, and the jockey's already pre spawn makes no noise, but gets in shoved, dead, no dead stop on that hunter, great DP and Smith coming out here. The spread definitely hitting as many of the survivors as possible here, and getting some death spit there on the Nick. Yeah, that was actually a better better attack on that than the first attack that we saw. The boomer didn't win, but, you know, with the spit, you know, it did a pretty good amount of damage. And again, we do have the tank up, and it looks like the survivors are trying to figure out what they're trying to do, so... Survivors will be going back, and we'll be taking in the very same spot that the previous team is going to be taking at. And it looks like we have a tank in the hands of Yamo here, so why don't we send it over to another survivor world, shall we? We shall. Stay together. Stay together. Reloading. Cool. Nice pop. Nice pop. Sir, just do your 10 seconds of LOS. Get inside this building. If you guys hear him start moving towards you, go outside. Yep. You don't want to get caught in there. Alright, you might want to get out before spawns are up. That's, that's AI. Alright, AI tank's going after the boom guy. Push on him hard, get get up on his ass. His butt. Oh, the boom ended. Oh, nice job. Get up, get up. All right, and we are back here. So we just saw the survivors take a really risky, but it uh, looks like the reward is actually pretty good. They, they took a risky oh, chance of line of sighting inside oh the building gosh. there, but it looks like the tank went AI. 
Yeah, that's very unfortunate, especially with having a boomer, and, you know, boomers can be fortunate, but uh, we do have an attack going in, Charger on the steps, and Hunter does manage to get a pounce, and Jockey is grabbing an end cap too, so... And we see that bitter here is at oh, one shit, HP on, with that temporary health here. He needs to take those pills as soon as possible before he gets hit by a common infected or something and goes down, and that'll definitely make him an additional attack here. So they, you know, they are bleeding. They got three bleeders, one set of pills here, but they do have enough health to possibly make safe. They're going to have to wait out the rest of this event here in the corner, though, but there's so many spawns for the special infected here. I'm expecting some raining. Yeah, not only that, but we do have Luke at 42 bleeding out right now, so... Um... Oh no, no, he's permanent. Uh, yeah, we do have an attack going in. Boomer does manage One boom spit in the... And now uh, he managed to get on the patio with that, so... As you can survive this year, they're definitely, again, there's three people bleeding, so they are feeling the bleed here. Every single second, they are now moving forward here. And Ellis here, really, really hoarded, but he did get cleared towards the end there. The Common Infected are no longer banging on him here, and they will be closing the door behind him to stop the Common from, you know, just coming up behind him. And running through here with all the Common Trap back there, just clearing up all this free nav path here. Yeah, we are pretty close to the Witch. But uh, we do have an attack, another attack up. We do have a tri cap with a boomer. Genesis 3 1 here. It looks like the boomer was thinking about going in early here, but looks like they will be waiting. There is an unavoidable witch that which is in the alleyway here. So the infected here have a lot of potential attacks, and we see a triple boom. Oh no! No, it's just a one boom, yeah. That was so close to a triple. Yeah, it. Okay, yeah, we have a pause from Luke. Yeah, it was <laughs> very unfortunate. I think he tried to get a rocket boom, but he actually got caught on the ladder. Well, it still looked like he should have got the triple, but it looks like everyone got away just in time for uh, no one else to get proxied there. I was actually, yeah, I was actually thrown off on a surprise there. Yeah, but they do have a charger for this, uh, for this hit, so, I mean, they do have one that's literally one punch away, so hopefully the infected can actually execute on that. Yeah, I mean, this witch, again, it's unavoidable. They're going to have to deal with her. The SI can just rocket off of these rooftops here, but while they're rocketing, they are just, you're, you're kind of just shooting fish in a barrel as these SI are just slowly descending on top of you. And then once they land, whatever health they have left, that's what they have to work with when they charge an e jockey at you, pounce at you, or even try to pull you, etc. So I would say that the, this witch hitter here in particular, since the boomer had decided to go in early, He's actually very survivor friendly now. Yeah, I mean, they're gonna get a spitter depending on what it, exactly they do. They do have an end cap that just now happened, so, but I think, I'm pretty sure that they're gonna save on the Witch. The Hunter is spawned up right now. They might be able to get a spitter in time here, but it looks like. Oh! And they shoot oh, the car alarm! alarm car, yeah. Yeah, it's if just I, more horror that you don't want to deal with. If, I mean, if I were the survivors, I would deal with, uh, I would, or if I were the infected, I would go in for the Zephyr now. It looks like the arc camp, you know, I think shooting that alarm car was part of the strategy. If you want to shoot the alarm car, they're going to camp this out, and then afterwards they're going to deal with the witch here with no alarm car to worry about. Yeah, they did manage to find kills, but the attack is going in, the charger is, and this is charged. The jockey is just now went in, spit finally going in, and not really doing much of anything. Kind of trying to get in there, but not finding his way. We're seeing here the difficult pronunciation playing as Ellis here is very, very low on his health, including Bitter here, which is going to be black and white. Or actually, no, Bitter is black and white here with one temporary health here. He will be limping away from the map here. I'm just wondering how come they didn't decide to take that end cap after, you know, three of the infected went down, so now doing it is just. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, you do have the spawns already in. It's kind of risky right there. I completely agree here. And again, Nick is black and white. He's searching for pills all alone. Oh, that snipe on the hunter. Great snipe there. Here comes the attack. Double boom here. Great charge coming out here. And it looks like nobody went after Nick. Yeah, and very, very unfortunate. I don't know what was going on there. I guess they were trying to set up on the witch. They didn't exactly know that, you know, Ellis was off on so. There's something Reloaded. peculiar here, this Reloaded. car alarm is colored purple here. I don't remember it coming across as many car alarms that are colored, uh, colored blue, sorry. <laughs> yeah, they're usually always red, aren't they? Yeah, I, I still have seen, yeah. 
Oh, Randy, we are going through the maze of storage uh, storage shells here, and the hunter tries to go for a wall pounce, but it's just not gonna happen. Oh, but he gets oh, the no, he does manage to get it. Yeah, two boom right there. And here comes the spit. There's the death. There are two deaths right there. Two deaths right gets now. on Coach right now, and Rochelle is too hoarded to try and get over there and save Coach. And that will be done. And this should be the wipe here. A very no well weapon. fought, well fought map here for the survivors, I'd say. And Rochelle's just gonna try to manage her way through before <laughs> the common come and get her. Oh, but we have a charger here. Will Rochelle get the headshot level? No, uh, she does no. not. <laughs> Oh, no, I mean, yeah, they, you know, it was a pretty good run. Uh, I feel like they shouldn't have gotten that far. The infected, I guess, kind of got a little too conservative. Alrighty, so we're going to go on into map two here. So the scores are a bit, you know, a bit, you know, all over the place here, but there is still potential for a comeback on this particular map or this campaign here. A lot of potential comebacks here. So. One team is going to be going in with 443, and the other team is going to be going in with 88. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, running through this campaign, I saw you know a lot of you know potential for game swing or game changers. I guess you can say you know I feel like even though one team could be up by you know say six seven hundred points, you know if you actually you know manage to you know do pretty good on the survivor side, you know you'd probably be able to you know come back. So. But I guess that's left for dead in general. Alrighty, so we have a 32% tank and a 53% witch here. The first attack looks like it's going to be consisting with 3-1 here with Charger and Spitter. And it looks like they're going to be opting to attack at sight instead of inside. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, I, they keep moving all over the place. Can't exactly tell what about they're wanting to do right now. That's infected. <laughs> They're going to be repositioning up here. Maybe they're all going to come from the safe room, or maybe, maybe they're, they're, I, I can't think of a pun to throw out here. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I don't, I don't exactly know what they're doing, but, uh... Oh, it looks like, they, I... uh, did they accidentally have somebody on the wrong team? Uh, no, I don't think so. Or uh, maybe they did. Alrighty, waiting on Icarus to start game two. Ready up here. As you see, right outside the safe room, we have, you know, two, two little wooden containers here, wood boxes, rectangles, whatever you want to call them. They are blocking some sight here, line for some SIs to spawn. I mean, if I were the survivors, I would shoot those boxes before I leave the safe room. Yeah, that's very true. They, they should be, you know, shootable. Well, they actually are, so. But, uh,. Yeah, by the looks of it, we do have the charger in the setting up in the second room. The hunter, well, yeah, the other three infected are outside or in the safe room. So, looks like most of the SR are going to be coming in from behind here, and the charger is going to be coming in from the front here. So the survivors need to leave the safe room here, and they're, they're holding a safe room. Oh, there's a spawn here. Yeah, they're the finally coming in. And oh wow, Jackie couldn't land for a second. Oh, yes, couldn't land. M2s and the spit, unfortunately, he died. That incredible spit spread there. The survivors did a great job of shutting down the attacker. You look at the points right now, only 20 points of damage went out there. Yeah, most of the damage went to, uh, you know, one survivor, so I mean, that's pretty good rather than, you know, decent spread, so, but for the, you uh, you gotta charge spit. I mean, in that area, there, it's just really devastating. The chance of getting charged spit just from that spit spread in there. Oh man, I, I was actually surprised no one took a load amount of damage there. Yeah, that's very true. I don't understand why the spitter came from came from the safe room. I mean, I feel like the spitter and charger should be coming from the same area. And here comes the next pack here, comes the three, one with Charger Spitter here, another Charger Spitter, and here comes the tank! The survivors are going to need to make their way back up here. Here comes the smoke, the smoke is going to try to get the pulldown, he does the pulldown, here comes the spit! Spit block! Here comes the hunter! Oh, that hunter! Here, but he's not going to land on anyone in time though! Yeah, very, very unfortunate, I was really hoping that the hunter would have landed, but we do have a tank, so I do believe we should go to a safer, or er, a safer room. A war safer. room. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, let's go to an infected war room because this does not look infected friendly. All right, let's see that. Reloading. 
and he he has to commit either through that door down below or that window above on the right. And by the time you go down there, you'll be right. in the bottom of the room. safe room. You want support now? Reload! Well, yeah. She might as well go in. You want okay. me to go in? Up to you. I'm going in. All right, support. support. Go. Yep. Nice. Hold W, don't let go forward on tank. Just keep holding W. Reloading! Reloading! They're chasing you, you could uh. Chicken wheat. Alright, get him. Nice, bait. nice. Beautiful bait. Ooh, great. Good spread. I can try to get a boom right now. Oh, right, and we are back. So we just saw a tank in the hands of brightness there. Definitely doing some work, and we see that three people are bleeding after that tank here. And the event just started. Reloading! Yeah, this is a very, very good tank. I uh, didn't really time all the punches, but, you know, I mean, it's damage, and that's all that really matters. And it looks like the next attack is ready to go here, consisting of a 2 2 here with a hunter and jockey. And it looks like the SI are going to be going on the button here. They're giving up two potential attacks and they're going straight for the button. Yeah, they do have Ellis bound stuff right now. I uh, know they just now re regrouped, but they do need to do something. I mean, they're giving yeah, up just, way too much. Yeah, but giving up way too much. So it looks like they gave up two attacks for one attack here on the witch here. So this could be pretty devastating with the horde constantly coming in here. So the survivors are going to have to draw this unless they want to risk going in there, which, you know, the infected are ready for anyone going in there. Yeah, they do need to do something. I mean, the sword's going to keep coming in and so, you know, you do stop the, or press the button. So they need to decide what exactly they're going to do. Still a lot of common infected coming in here. Three people bleeding, one set of kills here, no one down. But they need to make a play here before they run out of ammo. Although there is ammo right in front of them if you want to risk setting up the witch. And the spitty gets a claw, and there's the draw onto Coach there! Oh yeah, and there goes that Jackie at the very front. Uh, you do have a Trigon that just now landed Hunt at the very bottom, so only one in one survivor is up right now. What are you gonna do? This could turn into a hitman here. Things are not looking good. It looks like Rochelle is dead here. Yeah, he can yeah, Hunter's still there for a second, wondering what he's gonna do, but he does pounce one of the down guys. The charger is up right now, so this may be it. Yeah, it's it right there. And we see that Nick there tried his best to close the door on the charger, but it just wasn't gonna happen in time. Yeah, it's very, very unfortunate. They did have that tri boom land, and uh, it, it's just that was an amazing hit right there on the steps, though. I think that's one thing you have to worry about when you are dealing with the witch is you need to make sure you don't accidentally set her off there. So we just saw Coach accidentally set off the witch there, got her startled, and then a spitter came in, got the scratch, and I think uh, I think some weapon spread or recoil just made the bullet just fly straight into the witch's face. Yeah, I think I did see that, but again, you know, especially on the steps, um, you know, with the witch too, obviously, you know, you can't have two survivors in front of a of which I mean I don't know it's just it causes a big cluster and it doesn't help when you have you know the uh, special infected head up too alrighty so we're waiting on Synax brightness bitter and Icarus to ready up here so again this first attack consisting of a 3-1 here with charger and spinner looks like they're opting to have I guess two of the infected come from inside and the jacket come from outside. I'm not sure how that'll work there, but it looks like they are repositioning to go fully inside here. So this is a full command on the inside right here, right out of the safe room. Is it a jockey and hunter, or is it a hunter and a charger? Jockey and hunter. Jockey, hunter, charger, spinner. Okay, I, okay. Yeah, I had a blonde moment right there. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Already waiting on two people to ready up here. So Zephyr, what do you think of the map so far? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, the map is pretty interesting. A uh, lot of lot of enclosed spaces, so a uh, lot of charger spit, you know, capability, or I should say, spitter, you know, capability on damage. Um, so I'd say it's just very very spitter friendly. I can agree to that. I mean, just so many enclosed-in spaces, and if you're not in an enclosed-in space, then you're in a 
you know, rooftops just all over the place are just gonna get rained on by special infected and such. Yeah, so, I mean, you know, boomers, I, I guess boomers are pretty good, you know, in this area too. I mean, common, you know, can tend to get in, I guess, a single line of sight too, seeing as they're, they're either gonna come from the front or the back, you know, in the enclosed spaces, but, I, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I feel like chargers would be able to do pretty good damage too, just with a single charge. Looks like Icarus there is asking, asking his team there, guys, and then, you know, a couple periods there. Yeah, I think, she, <laughs> I think Queen's trying to figure out what exactly she's, they're wanting to do because. They actually are the charter. So, er, yeah. That looks like they're good to go here. And here we go. I the shell will be too. leading out here. And they looks like one of them lost a spawn oh, here, but there's a charger chest bump. And That's we got fun. punches. Did it get to spawn here? More charger punches going out here. You see a cap on that hunter there, and clears. Yeah, that was. I mean, that was a better attack than the than the uh, first round that we saw. So. We see that neither team here decided to destroy the wooden crates that are right outside the safe room, right before they leave. Oh yeah, um, but we do, we do have the survivors pushing it right now, um, by the looks of it, we do, we do have a jockey, jockey hunter smoker, and I believe that they're actually going to be getting a boomer for this hit. And the next tech is ready to go here, consisting of a 3-1 with Smoker Hunter Jockey. So it looks like they are ready to attack here, but looks like they're going to be saving. Yeah, they're going to be saving for the run back here, which is now. Here comes the boom. Double, double boom here. Here comes the pullback. Gets it down off the van here. Here comes the Hunter. The Hunter is ready to go here, but I think that's a bot Hunter. Hunter gets a yeah, pounce no. there on the coach. Yeah, they do have a Jockey too. I think the Jockey is actually AI. Oh, the Jockey's Icarus. Oh, but here comes the tank here. Tank in the hands of Luke Square here. Let's quickly go over that war room. Nice. How did brightness survive that? Gosh damn the killing time. <laughs> it's not that far of a fall. Great hit there, guys. Help, help. Alrighty, we are back. So we just saw a tank in the hands of Luke Swear here. And I have to say, that was just a really great attack. A double boom, a pull down to distract, a hunter pounce on the coach there all alone, and then a jockey for separation. That tank just came in right there and just wiped him. Yeah, yeah, that, the, yeah, the special infected help was, actually helped the tank do what he needed to do to, you know, wipe the team. Uh, again, you know, the boom did land, the uh, smoker may have not done much, but, you know, I mean, a smoke pool for like a single second can actually, you know, change the tide in, a, in an entire attack, which it did. And, uh, you know, the hunter and jockey up top, you know, did what they needed to do to allow the tank to come in and manage to get like a, a he got a triple punch, right? Or... I think just a double. Oh, uh, was it just a double? Okay, yeah. Managed to get a double. One of the survivors managed to get off the, uh, you know, uh, ledge, I guess you can say, or balcony or whatever it is. So, they they did what they needed to do to get the wipe there. Alrighty, so we got a 16% tank here. A lot of early tanks here. I think this tank, as soon as they drop off of the, I want to say off the balcony here, they will be triggering it. Because these maps are really short. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, you know, the, they, they are, but I'm really hoping that they actually survive this tank, uh, seeing what exactly they do on these rooftops. I actually want to see, you know, both the survivor play and infected play, especially, you know, with all the possible, I guess, instant kills with, you know, charter and whatnot, so. And we are waiting on brightness and Icarus already up here, so I'm gonna be going through the map here, so. A 37% witch spawn, so I'm not very familiar with the map, but I want to say that this witch is probably going to be unavoidable due to the large amount of office cubicles and survivors going to have to run through. Um, sorry about that, I was actually drinking a thing of water. Uh, 37% witch spawn. Yeah, 
which you said might be in the. Well, no, I'm gonna say I'm saying that it's gonna be unavoidable. I don't know where you'll spawn. I'm not very familiar with the percentages here. But just running through the map here, you can see that there's just several sets of office cubicles here, which leads me to believe that which is gonna be unavoidable. It's gonna be in a hallway where they have to go through. Yeah, um, unavoidable witches aren't really something that, you know, you want to deal with unless, of course, you know, you do have that one strong, you know, crowner, I guess you can say. I don't really know if we have a name for it, but, I think but, um, they called that, I think they called it the crowner. Oh, okay, well, I don't know, <laughs> I don't crown, so, <laughs> I don't ever crown, so I don't really know, but, uh, Alrighty, just waiting on brightness here. And the first attack consisting of a 2-2 here with Hunter and Jockey. So we're just going to be waiting here for brightness to ready up and we will be good to go. And looks like the boom and the hunter is going to be coming from inside. So one thing to note about this uh, this particular map here. You see that room with the boom and the hunter in? Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, that's actually a very popular spot to take the tank. One reason being is just it's very closed in, it limits, you know, it tunnels the SI spots. But it's also glitched, which it's currently not fixed right now, even in the tournament version. So if you get boomed on, the horde just, they all don't come in. They're stuck. They can't make it in there. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Well, we actually have a Stoopy in this, so maybe he'll actually be able to see that and probably change it for maybe a playoff round. I don't know if this map is going to be played oh. in the playoffs. I'm not sure, but I heard I heard from Jacob that if they decide to use this map for another tournament again, they said that they are going to fix it. Or okay. try to fix it, rather. Yeah. But, uh, again, yeah, we do have a 2-2. Two -two. Um, again, I, I, I feel pretty, pretty good about, you know, Boomer and Spitters being in attacks, especially, you know, if, uh, Boomer proxy does like happen and you know the stumble happens and the spit manages to be in the area and especially with this pretty closed off or closed area so if they go back in the safe room they should be good but we'll see what they do Alrighty, and we are good to go here so again 2-2 here with Hunter and Jackie it looks like the boomer's gonna come from the safe room here probably not gonna be able to get that spawn and the tank is already up tank's already up yeah and look yeah, at Jackie Ooh, and the spit tries to get in there, and there is a separation spit there temporarily, but no boomer in play. And here comes the spit of attack. Yep, looks like they're actually going to be fighting this in the room, so I guess we should probably go ahead and, and take this into a safe, or war, war room. Yes, let's quickly take this over to a survivor war room here. He's, he's going to be LOS, so you might want to just play it safe. Yeah, don't really you don't want to get caught out of that room. room. Like, oof! Nice skate. Oh, is he really backing one. out? Oh, he just yeah, I think he's going in the safe back. room. He's just trying to get his rage back. They're gonna get, get three cappers and commit it again. You should still just sit the... Like, they have other cappers up. Actually, that's as nice as we get on the roof while he's right there by the ladder. I think we say we should just jump over. Be good. Y'all ready? Dodo? I think it's a little what? risky. Let's just hang tight. Yeah. We got a nice lead. It's better to try than to. Lose. You can just get punched off that roof. There's no edges or anything. Is this AI? Gotta kill off those SI. Or <laughs> pill up, whatever you can. You can do it, go ham with the melee weapons. You can still finish it. Oh, man. <laughs> no, no, don't run, don't run, dude, finish it, finish it. You've got this, I swear to god. I don't want to cheat for you, but he has no health left. Alright, whatever, fine. <laughs> Not a team player. <laughs> the, those are some six time. jukes, though. I'll be right back for next round. Dude, the tank literally has 73 health left. One more melee <laughs> swing, you would have killed him. <laughs> yeah, dude, I wasn't lying to you. Oh. 
Alright, we are back. <laughs> I don't even so, know what to think about that. I Icarus just, un unfortunately, Icarus really panicked mode. I, I, I get where he's coming from, okay? if Let's say, for example, he did not know what the tank's health was, okay? And in that scenario, anyone should probably just rush your points. He didn't know what the tank's health was. However, it's just, oh, it, it's just, even I felt really frustrated. I wanted to type in chat, Icarus, turn around, 73, come on, you can do it! it, it was, oh my god, they were so MVP, like, in the safe room, too, when they were juking the tank and everything. I didn't, like, I was expecting, you know, Sky to turn around as soon as they jumped out in the in the first area and... Yeah, and shoot the tank. Shoot, the, shoot tank. the tank, yeah, that, that that's what I was expecting, but it didn't happen, so... Oh my gosh, I, it's very unfortunate. <laughs> So that was some great play there by Icarus. Definitely dodged a lot of hits there and got in a lot of melee swings. There's just one more swing or one shot, even a sneeze from a pistol probably would have killed that tank there. Yeah, it looks like the survivors are actually gonna fight this tank outside, which is kind of well. Never mind, the tank isn't instantly committing, but they can clear this horde. Hunter bouncing his way in here. Take a lot of chip on that hunter and shut down on that spitter second. That's good. Here comes the hunter, but no hitbox though. Let's quickly send it over to that survival Reloading. room, shall we? We shall. Building. You gotta hide behind the buildings. That brick, that brick thing in the middle where Ellis just hide behind it right now for 10 seconds. There you go. Crouch down so he doesn't get the hitbox. Alright. Crouching Stop. doesn't change your hitbox. Stop hiding. Go spread out because they have hits up. But yeah, you guys should know that. I can try to skip it up. Reloading. Hmm, drop. That's weird. Cause, uh... He's gonna climb up the side. Alright, so we are back here temporarily while we wait for this unpause to happen here. So Zephyr, what is your take on the tank, or taking the tank here in this upper area? Um, I mean, you can LOS, uh, you know, you're not taking the chance of actually being, I guess, in a closed area like that, like that room that we were talking about earlier. So, I mean, you know, better possibility of actually taking on the tank. Uh, I do see that there are some railings on, on this rooftop. I mean, I do see the in the uh in the corner that there is a you know part of that railing missing not only that but you know for you to push forward too obviously there aren't railings there so i mean i feel more confident you know like taking on the tank here just as long as you're able to shut down uh the infected hits when they come in well i mean those railings there i mean they're really useful but i get this strange feeling like they're not going to stop you from getting punched off yeah, I guess that's true. I mean, I don't know. Um, hopefully Jacob didn't, like, change his survivor weight, you know, when somebody gets punched, so... <laughs> like he did with the cars, but, no, I'm just joking. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I just don't really feel comfortable, you know, taking on tanks and, like, you know, closed areas like that, you know, unless, of course, you know, you're doing four shotguns or, you know, a uh, good amount of melees, so... And I think, starting off, I think there are only two survivors with two melees. Well... I mean, in my opinion, I feel like this map does a really great job of giving you an open area, but putting enough stuff in there to make you still feel like you're in a closed area here. So we have this really open rooftop, and we got this structure in the middle that's really giving a lot of line of sight, and then we got these air conditioning units and all this other shit on the far right here. 
that gives it this kind of indoor kind of feeling. You never actually feel like you're out in the open, unless you want to risk, you know, risk being really out in the open. You go onto the other rooftop, but you might get punched off. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I mean, I feel like you know you could actually you know be able to you know LOS this tank, um, you know, pretty well. But again, you know, just as long as you're able to shut down the infected, I feel like. You know, you should be able to do good in this area. Alright, and we are waiting on the survivors to ready up here. Yeah, I think Brightness just now disconnected though. Lag hacks. <laughs> what am I reading, Dusty? Lag hacks. I mean, you never played back in like the old RTS days where if you're losing, you just plug full your monitor or Back then, I guess it was dial-ups, you just plug-pulled your phone cord from the wall, and instead of getting a loss, you just got a tie? No, the only game that, well, yeah, I actually started playing PC back when dial-up was, was like the thing, but the only thing that I really played was like Dune 2000, but I, I didn't really do anything of that sort. Oh no, man, back in my day, I used to play fucking Red Alert 2 and Yuri's Revenge. Oh yeah, I mean I played those too, but Dune 2000 was like the very first one that I did, and then uh, yeah, I went over to Command and Conquer, and then I uh, actually saw last year, last December, on sale, or on the Steam sale before I left for deployment, I actually saw that they were selling all of them for like 10 bucks, and I was just like, let me just go ahead and pick these up, so. It feels so much more different though, I don't know, I feel like they're not what they were back then. Oh yeah, I agree. Um, the newer versions of the Red Alert series, or at least like the Command and Conquer Red Alert series. I don't know, I couldn't get into it. I played the demo, and throughout the entire thing, I felt like this game was made by some, like, high school kid or something. It's like all these sexual <laughs> references and all these women that are, you know, in the military, but they just happen to never wear body armor. They just wear low-cut, uh, what, what do they call them? Tank tops. Tank tops, yeah. Yeah. Really weird, but uh, yeah, no, I don't, I don't know anything about lag hacks, so I, I learn something new every day when I'm playing Left 4 Dead or <laughs> CS:GO. So, it don't lose like the it, focus. Yeah, Icarus here realizing what the other team, they finally realizing what the other team is trying to do. They're trying to break the infected's focus with this really, really prolonged pause. Yeah, I don't know. These pauses can always always put a hurt on on the opposing team that didn't force the pause. Yeah, um I don't know man. We're waiting on brightness, right? I don't know if survivors know that she's already logged in or I am not sure actually what's happening. I mean, I'm looking at the Mumble here, and it looks like they aren't even in the Mumble channel. So, I mean, their entire internet could have just went out, or, you know, the power grid, or quite possibly, I don't know, maybe they're in a state and the entire state just blew up or something, or just decided to, you know, fall into the ocean. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I think I think Brightness said that it was, it was their mouse that said it, or said it? Wow, their mouse that was affecting it, but I don't see why that would cause anyone to completely disconnect. Alright, and I mean, one thing I just noticed here is that they do have a boomer here now. Again, with this closed up area here, if you get boomed on, a single person get boomed on on this rooftop here, honestly, just, just kiss your ass goodbye. Alright, during this tank, with a single person boom, poured all over the place and they're all being funneled through this really, you know, again, it gives you the illusion of having an open, uh, you know, an open out area here, but in reality it's not really open, it's actually closed in, just got all this forward chasing after one person and blocking off your escape routes and while the tanks come in it's kind of like, fuck. Yeah, that's very true. I didn't even, yeah, I didn't recognize the boomer, but, you know, with one boom, especially during a tank, that can, that could be very, very, uh, very frightening. So, but it looks like we are actually getting ready to go live, finally, so... So, let's, yeah, let's quickly go over back to that infected room, shall we? Or, Survivor, or, sorry. Survivor, yeah. That's a very bad 
Why the hell you guys keep shooting me? Oh no, I'm still having issues. I can't. Uh, uh, you know what? I'm stuck. Pause, pause right now. Pause, guys. Alright, now you get the spec. And then ready up. And you join as soon as it's readied. Alright. Like, as soon as they ready up on infected, you're gonna join the game and you'll be able to be free to move. Okay, go ahead and join. Alright. I think it was great. Yeah, but you're gonna have to LOS. There's just right, watch out. two infected up. Alright, he's coming in. He's coming in. It's AI and it's uh, full help. Keep your distance evenly between the tank. Yo, oh, Charge. damn. The the Tank is gonna chase the boom guy. Nice. Jockey on you. Hey, Jockey. Oh. Hunter. Uh oh. Uh, shoot this hunter. I can't. Nice, you got a double got kill. Beautiful. Alrighty, we are back here. So we just saw a really, I don't know, interesting tank going out there by difficult pronunciation. Looks like he wasn't paying attention to his rage meter and tried to throw a rock at 20% range and, well, what they got. Yeah, I, I was gonna say, I don't know if that was like intentional or not. I, I'm pretty sure it wasn't though with a rock and 20, 20%, but still, you know, <laughs> it ended up in their favor. They did manage to get an instant kill from a charge off the, the top of the roof, so, I mean, they did do. And we, oh wow, this witch is actually a really, really good spot here for the survivors, albeit the opposing team does have a charge here, so it makes these cubicles here very dangerous. Oh, and yeah, it's the oh, There's the oh, full! Is it? Uh, it didn't happen. It didn't happen, it was close. <laughs> that charge, though, got a double charge in the spit, and Jockey did come out to finish that in cap. That charge spin was just brutal there. Great job by the injected. Yeah, but we do, we still do have that smoker up for the uh, for the pool on top of the witch. Um, looks like they're gonna try to do it with the smoker. Oh, this spin <laughs> bounces right off. They do get the get the smoker dead, and the crown doesn't happen. And here comes the boom here. He's gonna get a triple boom right here. Oh no, he gets a double and a flat seed. Oh, he falls oh, what off. Is this? What is this charger gonna do? <laughs> All right, there it is. And there's the charge. That was incredibly brutal right there. Just the charge spit, the double charge spit there, and then the, the, you know the spitter setting up the witch there, getting someone down, and then the boomer proxy from the fucking window frame all the way down and pushed him off the lead. <laughs> oh man, that that can be deadly too. I don't, I don't see I don't, I don't see why I didn't mention that earlier, but yeah, the proxies you know and stumbles right off the ledges. That those. Those hit you right in the right in the deep down, deep down. Alrighty, so we are now on the finale here of Arena of the Dead Two. Now we get a really early tank here. Actually, no, this is forty-six percent. It actually be a bit later, but uh, normally you play this tank on the rooftop here with the boom and the spinner at. Yeah, when I first went through this. I accidentally went up here and I stood up here for a good like two, three minutes trying to figure out where I was supposed to go and I was just like, I don't think that's where I'm supposed to go. But, but uh, <clears throat> yeah, unfortunately it's a 46% tank so it's there. we're not going to see a fight up there. Well, you could still. You still could. You can make your way all the way back up there and finding up there is actually pretty good because there is a hittable down blow. Is it the uh, alarm car? Is that what you're talking about? That's a hittable. Yeah, yeah. I'm. I wouldn't be surprised if like the dumpster there is a hittable too. 
Yeah, and look at the color of the alarm car. It's actually red, so. Yeah, what happened to that blue alarm car that we saw earlier? Um, I, I don't know, but it's red now, so hey kids, go nuts. It's a... Okay. But uh, for this first hit, I believe I do see a smoker, boomer, jockey, and a charger. So unfortunately, no charge spit, but I mean, I feel like he can still do some pretty good damage. So the infected here, what they're going to want to do is they want to make sure that the boomer doesn't stumble anyone. If anything, probably bring in the boomer last once they're recovering, reloading, etc. And the boomer just get an easy single or double boom, maybe even a quad. But again, you just need to make sure that the boomer does not stumble any of the SI during this attack. It's very, very critical. Yeah, that's very true. And I mean, I don't know, if any special infected, you'd probably want to do it with a with a charger. But again, you know, in this enclosed area, I do feel more comfortable with the boomer going in last. But um, yeah, it looks like that they're actually doing the smoker jockey to the far right, or to the room to the right, and then they're going to do the charger and boomer to the left. And they are closing the door to prevent the spawns from coming in completely. It looks like the survivors have pretty much cleared out all the side rooms here, and the boom is already up! Boomer gets a boom on a single person, here comes the jockey, here comes the smoke, here comes the charge, double cap, triple oh, uh, cap yeah, there! Trip cut. Yeah, tri cap landed for a second, jockey still with a little bit of health doing not absolutely nothing now, but, but yeah, they should be good to carry on with this. It looks like the survivors are opting to go down the long way instead of going through the fire stage. I definitely didn't know you could do that. <laughs> but we do hear a witch right there at the alarmed car, so this is actually going to be pretty tricky. What exactly are they going to do with this? Well, if they shot the witch right now, they could have easily Reloading. dealt with it without the SI, but now they're going to have to deal with the SI. And the witch is startled here. Smoker's trying to get that spawn right now. You can see it right now. He's crouching next to that tire, but he can't get the spawn, though. Draw crown attempt misses. Oh, oh wow, misses. Yeah, they can they can end this right here. Uh, yeah, they do manage to get the alarm card. Smoker does get a smoke, but the hunter gets like the uh, and now a quad. I mean, tri boom does go out, and the only non boom person is actually Jock right now. So this could be really bad. And the tank is up too. Oh, this is looking very, very unfortunate here. With the tank coming in here, tank will be messing with that hittable here. Here comes the hittable. Here it comes. Oh, he oh he missed it. <laughs> and there it is. Yeah, there it is. Oh. Oh. Right over Nick's head here. So Nick here, 1v1 with the tank here. But I guess a lot of common infected have something to say about that. He jumps over a common infected's head, though. I was going to say, this doesn't look like it's going to be the 1v1 that we saw last round <laughs> with Sky, but... Yeah, Charger's getting ready to come in. Oh, Ooh. wow, it's the level. Yeah, that headshot level. <laughs> that was a pure headshot level. Uh, yeah, that was a really, really good level right there. So I feel like if they can actually manage to get the, uh, <clears throat> get the first hit down pretty successfully and then manage to get the Witch, they could probably spawn the tank up and then fight it up there where we were talking about earlier. Anyways, we're going to go on into the final round here. So. They could make the comeback. It's only 400 points. All they have to do is survive two tanks. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to press the button. My, my, my finger just, just goes all over the place sometimes when I'm trying to press buttons. <laughs> I was going to say, I was sitting here talking to myself, and I'm like, oh, yeah, all right, roger that. <laughs> Looks like one of them got kicked for command spamming. <laughs> Is it Luke? Oh my god. <laughs> that happened like three times yesterday when we were bugging. Oh my gosh. He just, every time it happens to him, he's just like, I don't I don't know what I did. And I'm just like, you probably used like your mouse wheel or something. And he's just like, yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, so we're just waiting on Icarus. And Luke is obviously going to have to rejoin. But yeah, we're just waiting on Icarus to ready or ready up here with Luke coming back. So... 
this first attack here, we're seeing that the boomer is going to be coming from the room on the side. The infected want to get in a really, really quick attack so they can have an attack up for this. Oh, God. Well, then. Yeah, this. <laughs> what wow. is going on here? Is it. Can I, can I do it now? I want to mess around with my fancy little mouse wheel. <laughs> Very. It's, it's freaking crazy. Baiting your team now, peace him. <laughs> But uh, yeah, they're, they're going to want to get this attack uh, in pretty quick. Uh, they they want to try to get another attack for the for the witch, and then <clears throat> and then for the uh, for the tank. Um, you know, if the survivors manage to shut down this first attack, you know, they should be able to successfully you know deal with the witch and then spawn the tank. So, um, I mean, if that does happen, I feel like the infected should have a hit for the run back, whether they take the. Uh, I guess the ladder back up and with those steps are from inside the building. Alrighty, just waiting on. We're we still waiting on Luke to rejoin. Luke just timed out. Down. That's a bit unfortunate. This kid, though. Yeah, I was. Oh my gosh, I'm still kind of. I think I, I think we're gonna have to say Sky is like the MVP of this because that was a really really impressive like one v one with the tank inside the safe room, even though it was 73 HP. Yeah, I mean, even Prodigy sound like, he didn't want to cheat, but he just, all he did was just tell, told Icarus, just turn around, he's really, really low, but he couldn't, he didn't want to tell him the exact yeah. health there until the end. Yeah, so, and I think Sky actually doesn't have, doesn't have a mic, I'm not exactly sure, I mean, I've seen, I've seen them typing everything, so... But it, I'm pretty sure I would have wanted to be in that, you know, in that chat if that person did have a mic after realizing that there was only 73 health. All right, so this finale, I'm gonna go over and uh, show these, you know, show the viewers the finale here while we're waiting on Luke to rejoin. So you do have to get through this little ticket area here. Very simple. Make your way up the stairs. And then usually most people like to hold out in a vent or whatever horde that they can up here in the upper area here. And, you know, once you're good to go, you make your way into the arena here, do the double set of doors. This is a left for dead drop here. So, you know, if you get caught up there, you're dead. Done. Done. You know, completely. Like, Crocodile Dundee done, dude. Oh my god, why would you bring that up? <laughs> and so, yeah, this area here, kind of a dark carnival like you know, finale here. They run up all the way over here to the speaker booth, which has a really crappy TV. Got four sets of pills, start up the event, and make your way out. Usually most teams have to take it over here by the bleachers. And uh, uh, the spit on these bleachers actually spreads really, really well. Yeah, I was actually going to ask whereabouts have uh, survivors actually taken this finale. I mean, it just looks like this entire arena just looks... Like, I don't very know, I mean, friendly. yeah, very, very, <laughs> I was trying to find the right word, but, um, yeah, like, infected look like they can come from just about anywhere. Yeah, this finale is actually pretty difficult here. You don't want to take it in the lower sections here. You want to take it in the upper sections, take it in one of the seven bleachers, and during the tank, you want to go behind one of the cargo crates, the metal, metal cargo containers here, and, uh, hope he doesn't get the forklift up there, or the dumpster, because then it gets pretty, pretty nasty. Well, I, I mean, is that is that what survivors have done facing the tank? Because I'm, like, can the tank not get on the roof and I guess just manage I line don't, of sight? I don't think so. I think the roof is completely blocked off here. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah, the roof is completely blocked off. Okay, yeah, I was playing. I was playing campaign, and then like the tank just randomly spawned up there. I wasn't exactly sure if, yeah, like. Tanks well, were actually able to go up there. Yeah, that might just be AI, because you know AI likes to fucking shoot. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we are still waiting on Luke, who's now in server and in Sky, but he's not moving. So. Well, that's just lovely. Maybe he's gonna yeah, turn out again. Yeah, I realize that that's happened a lot. I don't exactly know why it happens. 
Well, I believe the correct answer to that question is left for dead. Yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah. I remember when they they updated something like back on the Xbox when I was like a big Xbox player and uh and this was when like the tank would spawn up, somebody would be jocked and regardless of how much health you had, like when the tank punched you with the jockey on you, you got in capped instantly. I right, I remember that and I, and they had the yeah, they had the nerve to, you know, post like a uh, a poll on the Xbox side saying, hey, do you want us to fix this or not? And I'm like, what? <laughs> what? Who wants this? Yeah, they literally did that on the Xbox side. And I'm just like, who the, he who the heck does that? Like, why? Well, that's left for dead for you. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't know if that's just them being lazy or if they, you know, they think, oh, hey, that's a really cool idea. Let's just keep it in there. Yeah, there's been a wide variety of bugs that just really should not be in Left 4 Dead 2 still. Yeah, let me just... yeah, hold on. Well, this is gonna... well... Yeah, I was gonna say, I've, I've had this happen to me a few times when I, you know, lost connection or I had to restart and then, like, I rejoin the game and then I wasn't able to move and I had to respec a few times. Oh, I think the slap might have... did the slap bring him back? Uh, yeah, I was gonna say, I don't think so. I think he's the jockey AI. Or Chucky Ale? What? <laughs> and then Chucky Goose. Yes. Yeah, in and out does sound pretty good right now. Yeah, I was gonna say they can just restart, but um just keep the scores. Oh he's back, okay. Oh, oh wow, he was just AFK, okay. <laughs> oh no, but Sky, Sky's gotta plan the attack though first before we're actually able to ready up. Alrighty, so we are good to go here, so we should be seeing a ready up from Icarus here momentarily. But it looks like the Boomer is... oh no, Boomer just repositioned. No, Boomer's gonna be coming in from the room on the right, and then everything else is coming in on the left. Alrighty, so we got a 3-1 here with Charger and Boomer, and the survivors are rushing out here, closing the doors already. Those very, very quick closes on those doors there. It looks like the SI do lose a positioning on their attack here, and it looks like these survivors are obviously gonna take a long way also. Yeah, that Boom just now tried to go in. Nothing happened. Charger goes in for a charge, misses his charge. Smoker does manage to get a few takes. Oh no, the uh, try boom does happen. Smoker is backing, backing off. No, going back in for scratches. The jockey got shoved so many times there. I was expecting Benfoggle just to let it die for how many times it was shoved. Yeah, but we do have a slight separation, or yeah, separation going on. Rochelle is by herself, but there aren't any special infected up. They do manage to regroup. They should have a hit for. They can do the switch. Right now. They can draw the switch right now, but they're waiting too long. It looks like. Oh, here he comes. There's a crown. Oh uh, yeah, the crown. That boomer wants to get caught, <laughs> but I don't think that's gonna happen. Well, the survivors back up enough, they will be able to shoot that boomer without sending out the car line, which it looks like that's what they're thinking about doing here. Coach is far enough to set off that boomer. Yeah, Jackie is going in, trying to jock somebody. Does manage to get it. Uh, yeah. <sighs> Oh, and this pound's coming in here, and a pop on the propane tank will stumble the hunter, and it looks like the boomer 
getting the idea that they're trying to pop him from far away, deciding to finally hide behind the launcher, but now he will be getting back up and he does get popped and Nova launcher goes off. Oh! Oh no, yeah, it does manage to go off. Oh man, they don't need to be pushing this though. Yeah, there we go. Going back. Shot the alarm card by accident, but that could have been on purpose though, because you don't want to deal with this tank during an alarm card. Ammo. That's very true, yeah, and... Yeah, but we do have a spitter getting ready to... Or, I don't exactly know what the spitter is doing spawning up by itself, so... One thing to note is that taking this tank, it's actually the, the best spot to take this tank is actually inside the arena. Here. You make it upstairs to the second floor there and take it in the little uh, concession area. No. Okay, yeah, that's... Alright. It's actually pretty there, neat, and... Shaki gets a DG there, 665 height. I don't know what that... What does that stand for? Does that stand for... I don't know uh, what yeah, yeah, I don't even know. I know that definitely wasn't 666 feet. <laughs> well then. But uh, yeah, we do see a double boom go out, you know, a common do come trickling in for a second, but we do have the tank up, so... The tank is now up, and it looks like they're not opting to push inside here, and the tank is actually going to be going up the stairs here, and the survivors will be running away from the tank, and they will be taken on top of this, right here. this uh, car. Yeah, police car here. I don't know about that. Uh, yeah, that's really interesting. I mean, that car is pretty hittable, so... Um, I don't know, maybe they plan on chipping a little bit and then probably heading back in, but they do have the hit, you know, to worry about. Alright, so let's head on over to that war room here. Let's send it over to a infected war room instead of the old beast tank. Reloaded. Infected. Too much? Uh, yeah, so what? Oh, infected should go in. Okay, you ready to go for a rock, guys? You guys have spawns? Nice double charge. You might even want to go in. Punch him towards that car if you need to. You can use that alarm car. Be sure to duck when you hit it. Go for it. He's cornered oh, he's there. Trapped, he's trapped. He can go around the back of the van, but you should just walk towards him. You guys gotta help this tank. Work the car, maybe? You're pretty much done. They're behind you. Alright, and we are back here, so we just saw a tank in the hands of... Oh god, who was it in the Bitter. hands of? Bitter. Bitter? Bitter, there Bitter. you go. Yeah, so we saw a tank in the hands of Bitter there. Definitely doing some work there. Looks like he missed a tank car punch there towards, uh, towards the beginning of the game. In. But that double charge, getting that very quick corner, we can see that all four survivors are bleeding here. This event is incredibly brutal here, and four people bleeding is definitely not going to be something that's easy to do with that. Yeah, but we do have a charger and spitter. Um, they do, they should more than likely get a hit up here in this, uh, in this room. We do see the, oh, uh, no, okay, yeah, they're climbing up the, the vents. Yep, they're gonna get the hit here. Oh, and here comes the hit! Survivors are not dropping! Oh! One person drops there! And just oh wow, what that jockey... That jockey should've went in right then and there, but it didn't. And that spit spread didn't do what it was intending to do with Rochelle. It looks like the SI were all in, you know, pretty Reloading. fashionably late there. Uh, yeah, that's... Yeah, I mean, the charger, charger landed, but I feel like the, you know, the jockey was... Uh, just a tad bit late. Survivors will now be making their way to start up the event here inside the announcing room, which is actually a really crappy announcing room. I would not want to be an announcer inside this room. It just looks more like a prison to me. <laughs> I was gonna say, why would you not wanna wanna do it with that amazing television? Oh, and here comes the boom, that just not happened. Great pop, here comes the smoke, the smoke's gonna try and get the full spit, is gonna try and do some spit here. Charger is good to go here, but they're gonna be going in alone here. Probably a better idea to save, but looks like they're going in. Here comes the charge, spit is out oh, of position wow. though. Wow, that, that was very unfortunate. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the spitter was unfortunately lagging at the same time also. Yeah, they did manage to get the, you know, the, uh... Tri-charge, the triple charge, but uh, Spit just didn't 
It wasn't anywhere to be seen. Survivors are actually often take this in the very, very enclosed back end area here. I definitely don't agree with that, but I guess it keeps the infected from raining down on them. Actually, yeah, we do have, have a charger. Yeah, yeah, we do have a tri cap with a uh, with a boomer. So, uh, okay, yeah, they do manage to get a one boom. Uh, Hunter. Oh, is it did not. Oh, okay, yeah, double boom. This charger just teleporting his way back and forth from the doorway here. And here comes another leggy charge! <laughs> I was gonna say that looks really, really weird. Um, not exactly sure what this jockey is doing. I think the jockey is just trying to stay alive here to interrupt the pickup. But it looks like the jockey is not coming in to interrupt the pickup now. Yeah, it's really weird. You don't usually want to try to keep a, you know, spawn unless you're trying to interrupt a uh, in cap but that didn't look like it was happening. Uh, we do have a spitter, so this small area, especially with all these common trickling in, you know, this could be really, really bad, especially with the boomer in there. And the infected are good to go here, going to be coming up with their last aside here. Their attack consisting of a 2-2 with Smoker and Charger. This actually can be incredibly brutal, but yes, I need to get the attack right now before they get a tank. Because once tank comes in, they might lose the Charger. Here comes the attack! Great, great shoot! Oh, yeah, there it Double is. Spit. And there's, uh, there's one death. Yeah, and that tank's in right now. I think this may be it right there. We're, we're about to lose the tank. Yeah, the tank's on top of the roof right now. Actually, there is a correction that there are ladders that lead up to the rooftop there. And here comes the tank. This will be the wipe. There's already one down, two down, two down. and the third will be coming down here momentarily. Here comes the hunter. Oh! Oh, home run for the arena. That's pretty, pretty not good right there. Well, this looks like a soccer arena, though. Okay, soccer. All right, they're run. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. So. I don't. <laughs> I think that's that there. <laughs> I don't know my sports, I'm sorry. Alrighty, so we just saw an ending score of 892 to 852. So the opposing team actually came really, really close to coming back. But it's just they took way too much damage with that first tank, so they were not able to survive the events here. Yeah, I feel like, you know, they could have they could have probably pulled it out in the end if they had actually managed to deal with the, you know, first tank a little bit better, so. Alrighty, so that is the end of Left to Learn. November 8th, 2014. This is Ibex, and thank you, Music is After for co casting with me a second time. No problem. Thanks for having me, and it's, yeah, it was, it was pretty fun. Alrighty, so take care, everyone, and have a nice evening.